Hey guys, I rebuilt my wing glasses. Got new weather strip, rubber gasket all the way around. Got them cleaned up, working good. Stick around and check it out. I also got all the insides of the door cleaned up. I got the regulator cleaned up, oiled up. I got the door latch cleaned up and oiled up. I got everything working good, door shutting good. I got all new belt line weather strip. I got new window run channel all the way around, all the way down. Uh, window goes up and down like a brand new one. Look at that. Perfect. I'm talking about absolutely perfect. It just don't get no better than that. Uh, I got the door latch. Even opens from the inside. Man, this old junkyard dog truck's come along really nice. These windows are 44 years old. And they got kind of, they kind of scratched up from uh, rolling them up and down with bad weather belt line stuff. So they kind of scratched up, but they'd be all right. They'd be fine. They're not broke. Uh, got the mirrors on. Of course, this one's a little ratty. Uh, yeah, this mirror might be a little bit too rat rotty. I might want to invest in some new mirrors. You can see the scratches on the window. Those scratches are in the glass. It had tint on the inside. Uh, I was chore getting all that off, but got her done. I got the door panels just stuck on there for now because I got new armrests coming from CJ Pony. $65 worth of armrests, by the way. But hey, I think the old junkyard dog truck is worth couple new armrests. I still gotta put the glove box in, ashtray. I got a lot of stuff to do yet on the inside, but hey, it's coming right along. Now I turned the camera on when I was rebuilding these wing glasses. I'm gonna show you some of that. And uh, I just wanna tell you ahead of time, this is not a video of some uh, dealer that sells new parts and shows you how to put them in, where everything goes together exactly like it's supposed to, hunky-dory. This is not that kind of video. This is real life trials and tribulations of rebuilding the wing glasses. So I know you want to watch that, so stay tuned. So I got my passenger side wing glass. I want to rebuild, clean it up and paint it, replace the rubber seal, weather strip. But first I want to show you the difference. This is an early 70s wing glass. This is the early 80s wing glass. And you can tell the difference pretty easy because the early 70s has got a more pointed top in the early 80s, it's got a kind of a rounded top. The early 70s don't have a lock. The early 80s does have a lock. Now, even though I got an early 70s truck, 78 model, matter of fact, so I don't have wing glasses for the early 70s that's rebuildable, but I do have early 80s wing glasses that are rebuildable. So they both fit same, the doors are the same. So the wing glasses are fit, they just look different. So the first thing I want to do is get this nut right here off and it's got a lock. So I need to unlock the lock. Take a wire brush, clean those threads up the best I can. 
penetrating all on it. And very carefully get that nut off of there. Work it back and forth. See if I can get it without breaking anything. This here is already bad shape. I might not be able to get it apart without breaking it. We're going to find out. Cut this out of the way so I can see what I'm doing there and make sure I don't break that shaft. So this uh, shaft has got a flat spot on each side. I'm gonna take some vice grips and clamp down on that. See if I can get this nut turning without turning the whole shaft. That's gonna be a big ask, ain't it? I got it moving. Work it back and forth and see what happens. Let's see if I can knock this lock away from it a little bit. I think it's rusted together there. That spring. Ain't helping. So the nuts broke, nuts turning on threads like it's supposed to. But that lock is stuck. Let me just keep working it back and forth. Work it back and forth. Work it back and forth, loosen it up. Much more penetrating oil on it. There we go. I thought bias grip slipped. It's coming, just ain't coming very fast. I think I got it now. I think I got it. All right, got the nut. Get this lock off. Lock. Spring. See, we're gonna have, should be two flavors of washers there. They both stuck together. Okay, this is steel. With the flat. This is a kind of a nylon, I think that's a nylon. And on this side, we're gonna have a nylon, another one with a flat on it. Right there, they look like they're loose though. Okay, nut, lock, spring, uh, flat steel nylon. Now, next thing I got to do. This thing I got to do is cut this. This is kind of like a solid rivet. They got stuck in there. So I got to cut that out. Okay, nut, lock. Spring, uh, flat steel nylon. Now, next thing I got to do. 
This thing I got to do is cut this. This is kind of like a solid rivet they got stuck in there. So I got to cut that out. Hopefully without screwing the glass up. Maybe I put a whole rag over the glass. It might protect it. Yeah, I got it ground down flush on each side. See if it'll come out now. Part of it. I got it out a little bit. Still got to get the rest of that out. Now this here is going to be another complicated process to get this. Maybe I could do it better upside down. I'm going to feed these out. So, uh, you see what I'm dealing with? I don't know if I can patch that up or not. We're gonna find out. So what we got? Okay, we got another nylon washer. And then we got this guy. Right there. Next thing I want to do is get this off. Because it's loose. It's got a real small roll pin right there. It goes all the way through. See, there's the other end of it. And uh, this is too big to get it out. So what I got here, this is a my torch tip cleaner tool. I took the biggest one and cut it off. It's still a little too small, but I think I might can get it with it. I'm gonna try it, see. See what happened. coming. I'm getting it, just ain't got it yet. Let's see if I can get it with the pliers in there. Nope, not yet. There it is. Got a, this spring. Got that little groove, that pin goes in that groove there. Yep, good luck with that. See if I can drive that down in there. The old Torx bit. The old Torx bit seems better days.
So don't break glass. Hey, I got it. Got that. We need a wavy washer. Got that. Rubber. Actually I, actually, I could have probably just tightened it up a little bit, but I want to clean all this up. Uh, this chrome, I'm probably going to sand that down, paint it black or something. Uh, these, I might could buff out that chrome a little bit. I don't know I'm going to find out. But anyway, uh, now this, uh, this, I twisted that, got that all whoppy jawed, so... I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. Let me see if I can twist it back the other way without breaking something. Yep, I can see the glass breaking now. Gotta twist it more than that. About like that. Ain't got nothing there. If I could get that glass out of the frame without breaking it, I could get some uh, metal, I could fix that. I guess I'm about to try to do that. If I can't get it out, I just had to, uh, I had to find me another glass. See if I can get the glass out without breaking it. Yeah, this is getting a little tedious here. But the bottom line is I gotta get it out. Can't use it like that. coming. I might get it. I got it. Try to save the rubber. There it is. Now I can fix it. This would be a real tedious project, but I think I could fix that. I cut me a little piece of metal to go on this side. Cut this off clean where it's got a good cut the rust out. Then when I get that piece welded on, I come out of the bottom. This here is good here. I can start here and cut that out and weld a piece on the bottom right there be fixed. It's 
start with that and trim it up, make it work. Yeah, the average guy would just go buy some new parts there and be done with it, but I'm not your average guy. It's gonna be that's gonna be fine. That's gonna work. I get it right there, tack that in and tack that in. I take my flat wheel and probably might take my flat wheel and clean that up first. So I got this side of my piece cleaned up a little bit. I got this uh, inside fitting pretty good. So my first order of business is gonna be get it right there and put one tack right there. And then I come on this end and put one tack and then work my way slowly from there. We're off to a good start. All right, so I just need to beat this into submission right there. Get this straightened up and get a tack on that. Then cut a piece to go under the bottom. And that'll be fixed. All right, there it is. Not the prettiest thing in the world. Not gonna win any beauty contest, but Hey, all the ugly is gonna be up under the rubber anyway, so might not win a beauty contest, but if it wins the functionality, we're done for cheap, that'd be fine. Now, next task is to dig all this rubber weather stripping out of this. This is not an easy task either, but gotta get done. Gotta do it. I gotta get all the rubber out and get this out. One to run channel out. Clean this up and paint it and paint that. My rubber seal for the window is hard as a brick down here, so I'm gonna cut it like right there over and use the top piece. And I use black silicone for the rest of it. It'll be fine. So now I'll get the pleasure of putting the rubber in here, that should be fun. Looks like it's gonna be real fun. I don't even know where to start. Probably start, probably start up here. This here's gotta go, this is a tight fit here, so uh, put a little, make it slide in a little easier. I put a little Vaseline on this area up here. This one's ready to go. This is the frame I've done a repair on. I mean, it's like I said, it's not not beautiful, but hey, it works. And uh, remember I cut the rubber seal. This was bad, so I cut it off here and I put some black silicone in that channel before I put that window in. And I got the rubber seal the rest of the way up. Put the little latch thing on. Uh, this was chrome, of course it was all pitted up, so I just put some black paint on it for now. And uh, for about 45, 50 bucks, you can get a new set of latch handles, all the hardware, everything goes with it with new chrome. I may do a future upgrade, but for right now, I'm just going with what I got right here. that on there like that. Uh, notch is gonna go. Well, 
like that. Now I get this roll pin in. I'm trying to pull it in with this. That mash down. Like that. There we go. All right, that wing glass ready to go. All right, let's see if we get this wing glass in. Yeah, Got to get this guy first. Get one of these little fiber, not steel washer. Come on in, all the way, till we get that in right there. This takes special rivets, I don't have any yet. I got some ordered, but until then, I'm just gonna put a screw in it. And the reason you need special rivets is because one hole on one side is bigger than the other side, so it takes a special rivet for that. But I got like a number 10 screw. I'm just gonna stick in there just to hold it until I get the rivets in. Screw it in there enough. It, fit, it screws in pretty good there. I don't wanna screw it all the way in because I'll be taking it back out. But you can see that number 10 screw will hold that temporarily till you get your rivets. Now you need the other felt washer and a steel washer with a slide in it. Uh, spring, lock, and a nut. I don't know how much to go there, but we're gonna find out. You want your wing glass to be kind of stiff, so I like it. I'm going with that. Uh, lock this lock down. And that's done, ready to go in. Well, I gotta put the, I gotta put the window run in it. But other than that, it's ready. So I got my window run channel brace thingy back there. I got my window regulator all up, cleaned up, going up and down good. I got it all rolled all the way up. I'm um, attempt to put the glass in now. Slide it over that. Slide it over the other one. Like so. Now I roll it down. Appreciate you watching. I mean, you can see it's not as quite as easy as uh, the dealers make you think putting the new parts in, but we got it done, working great, working great. Be sure to stay tuned because the next video, we're gonna be doing front cap stuff. We gotta get the front cap on. Hey, you might wanna subscribe too, if you hadn't already, so there's that. <laughs> but hey, we're getting it, we just ain't got it yet. Appreciate you. See you next time.